Have you ever considered the hidden power that resides in the objects around us? Did you know that every single object you come into contact with emanates and transfers energy? And are you aware that accepting objects from others can have serious repercussions on our physical and mental well-being? If these questions have made you think, you must watch this video all the way through because you will discover what are the seven things you must not accept from anyone. So make yourself comfortable and listen to this Zen story, thanks to which you can protect your inner peace and your emotional balance. But before continuing, if you are not yet among us, subscribe to the channel and activate notifications to be informed when we publish new content for your spiritual growth. The elderly and wise monk Shozo, custodian of ancient secrets and profound spiritual truths, was revered by all for his profound understanding of life and the energy that permeates it. One day, as his disciples gathered around him in the monastery cloister, Shozo began to speak about the importance of discerning the energy surrounding objects in our lives. Have you ever thought about the energy that surrounds what we possess? asked the wise monk, scanning the faces of his disciples for curiosity and anticipation. You should know that every object we accept from others carries with it not only a material history, but also an energetic history, a reflection of the experiences and emotions of those who touched it. The disciples listened attentively, eager to learn their master's teachings and to understand how to preserve their own serenity. There are seven objects that we should absolutely avoid accepting from other people, Shuzo continued, as they can profoundly affect our spiritual energy and well-being. The first object Shuzo spoke about were mirrors, which on a symbolic level can be seen as subtle portals to the profound world of our soul. These objects, the monk said in a tone of reverence, are not simply reflections of our physical image, but also mirrors of our inner being. They can reflect our joys, our fears, and our deepest desires, but there is an aspect, both curious and disturbing, that concerns them. Mirrors, in fact, can also retain the energies of the people who have looked at them, thus becoming sources of both positive and negative energy. To illustrate the concept, Shozo told the story of a young monk who, upon accepting a used mirror from an old hermit, began to experience strange visions and nightmares. That energy accumulated in the old mirror, Shuzo said, had carried with it the hermit's memories and emotions, influencing the young monk more than he had ever imagined. The second item Shuzo mentioned was salt, that simple seasoning we often take for granted. Salt, he explained calmly, has the power to absorb and retain the energies of people who touch it. When we accept salt directly from another person's hands, we may unintentionally also welcome their energies, which may be positive or negative. I remember a young cook who attended the temple many years ago. One day he accepted some salt from a traveler, and from that moment, while cooking, he began to experience a strange sensation of oppression and bad mood. That energy retained in the salt, Shuzo said, had affected the cook's mood and well-being, overshadowing the goodness of the food he prepared. The third object Shuzo talked about were used mattresses, those guardians of sleep and rest. Mattresses, he said solemnly, are not only places where we rest our bodies, but also reservoirs of energy accumulated over time. Accepting a mattress used by other people could also mean welcoming their energies, which could profoundly influence the quality of our sleep and our inner peace. To better understand the concept, Shuzo told the story of a monk who, upon accepting an old mattress from a traveler, began to experience insomnia and have disturbing dreams. That energy held in the mattress, Shuzo said, had brought with it the traveler's worries and anxieties, disturbing the monk's sleep and tranquility. The fourth object that Shuzo mentioned were wallets that belonged to someone else, 
or the custodians of our material possessions. Wallets, Shuzo said with a sigh, aren't just containers of money. They are also the reservoirs of the financial and emotional energies of the people who have touched them. Therefore, accepting a used wallet from another person could also mean welcoming their energies. And these could influence, negatively, our financial situation and our emotional state. A few years ago, continued the monk, a merchant approached me who, accepting an old wallet from a friend, began to experience a series of financial misfortunes and constant anxiety. That energy held in the wallet, Shuzo said, had brought with it the worries and troubles of its previous owner, thus affecting the merchant's prosperity and serenity. The old pots and pans, or the kitchen tools that keep the secrets of our meals, were the other objects the monk spoke about. Pots and pans, Shozo said with a smile, aren't just cooking tools. They are also custodians of the culinary and emotional energies of the people who have used them. Accepting pots or pans used by other people could also mean welcoming their energies, which could influence the taste and quality of the food we prepare. Regarding this theme, Shozo told the story of a woman known and appreciated by all as an excellent cook. One day, the woman accepted an old pan from a relative. And from that day on, she began to experience a sudden decline that led her to not cook as well as she used to. That energy held in the pan, Shuzo said, had carried with it the memories and emotions of its previous owner, thus influencing the flavor and goodness of her dishes. Other objects that, according to Shozo, we should never accept from others are used religious or spiritual objects, those amulets and talismans that we often carry with us for protection. These religious or spiritual objects, the elderly monk said with a serious expression, are not only symbols of faith, but also custodians of the spiritual energies of the people who have touched them. Accepting religious or spiritual objects used by other people could also mean welcoming their energies, which could influence our spiritual practice and our relationship with the divine. To clarify the concept, Shozo told the story of a devotee who, accepting an old talisman from a friend, began to experience a series of very intense spiritual visions and sensations. That energy held in the talisman, Shozo said, had carried with it the experiences and emotions of its previous owner, thus strengthening the spiritual bond and protection of the devotee. While the disciples were increasingly fascinated by their mentor's words and reflected on the times they had accepted objects from someone, the monk continued his lesson by talking about jewels and objects of sentimental value. Jewelry and objects in general that have sentimental value, Shozo said with a nostalgic tone, keep the most precious memories of our lives. They are not only ornaments, but also custodians of the emotional energies of the people who wore them, and accepting them could also mean welcoming their energies, which could influence our feelings and memories associated with those objects. Many people, added the monk, when they inherit jewels from a mother or another ancestor, begin to experience a series of very intense emotions and memories linked to their childhood. That energy held in the jewels, Shozo said, carries with it the love and affection of the loved one who is no longer with us, thus recalling the sweetest moments of his or her life. While the sun hid behind the mountains, and the silence surrounding the monastery provided moments of peace, Shazo looked at the disciples with compassion and continued, Remember that our energy is sacred and precious. Be aware of what you accept into your life, as each object carries with it a story and energy that can influence your inner being. The valuable lesson I would like you to take home is that we are responsible for the energies we bring into our lives, Every object, even the most seemingly harmless, can transmit vibrations that influence our physical, emotional, 
and spiritual well-being. It is therefore important to be aware of what we accept into our lives and choose wisely what surrounds us. Whether it's a gift from a friend or a personal purchase, we take control of our energies and intentionally create a space of harmony and positivity.